name is Larry, I'm with Under the Bridge Flies, and I'm going to show you how to tie a calabatus nymph here. Um, that's the pattern I picked for this, but um, I'm going to show you an easy, easy way to put in your wing casings. Um, a couple guys asked me about those because they're having troubles not being able to keep it tied up against a bead, or they're getting too much material up here on their eye when they're putting their wings in. Um, they can't get their wings to spread properly. There's all kinds of issues, but I've had them, I know, so I'm going to show you an easy way not to have them. Um, it took me a while to figure this out, <laughs> but it works really, really good. So I'm using a green 8.0 from a Calabatus pattern. Um, this is a Daiichi 1710. Um, size 16. Um, this works really good with um, smaller, you know, size 20 for your casings and stuff. That so you can see it real well. I'm putting in mine. I'm just using this 16 because I'm tying this Calabatus anyway. Figured why not? All right, so I'm just using some mallard flank for my tail and I like uh, got a whole bunch laying around so. I'm just going to set that mallard flank on there and I'm just going to go ahead and run it all up about a quarter, leave about a quarter of the hook bare up there. Um, as you can see I started my thread back here in the middle where I'm going to start my tail and everything. Unless I'm worried about the material that I'm getting ready to use to slide, I usually start my thread you know, in the middle or the back because I don't like the waist thread for one. So I've got some gold ultra wire and this is size small and we're just going to tie that in. Um, the wire and stuff not so much important on this fly. If you got silver or copper works just as well, looks just as good. So um, your dubbing, I'm using Wopsy super fine dubbing and this is a super fine calabasis. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, probably 90% of the dubbing I use is from Wopsy. I use the, I like the super fine. It's got some great colors, you know, choices in there. And for my everything else, I pretty much use the South Scud. But for dry flies and some uh, nymphs where you want to really get the good color. For the bodies and stuff, uh, check out this uh, super fine. It's uh, really, really good for dry flies. And you can see how fine this is when I'm pulling it there. And I mean, it just really tight wrap around this fly. So I'm bringing my dubbing up, and then I'm going to leave a quarter of that hook still, and then I usually bring it back, and then just to build up this body a little bit more there all right now wrap your wire around and do a couple of finishes get rid of your wire let's get to the important stuff here as soon as i get this wire off of there <laughs> it's not cooperating there it goes all right so I need my hook for you to be just a second at that. All right, peacock feather or pheasant tail. I don't even know what feather I'm using, and that's what I'm using to make my wing casing with. You can use whatever you want to make your wing casings with. Um, Papa John's, if you're doing those, you're going to use oak tinsel or whatever pearl tinsel. That's fine. It works. This works with any whatever you're doing. If you have a casing with a wing under it. This is the way to do it for me. You might not like it. But you're getting a good calibatus pattern out of this anyway. Out of that. So it's going to be a win win either way for you. Alright, once I get my casing where I want it, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dub me a nice little thorax ball right there. And this right here is where we're going to start worrying about crowding our eye for anybody that's not using a bead 
And when I bring this around, you can see I left, you know, just a little bit right here. That up there hook, you can see that. Alright, so then we're going to work back to our casing material. Tighten that ball up a little bit. There you go. And see how I left that. So if you start, make you a point of with your dubbing right there and say, all right, I'm not going to go past that now. When you come back, you can make sure all your dubbing stays right there on top of that. And I'm going to put a little bit more on right here, see there, that I'm not going into this little area that I kept free. So, all right, wing casing. First thing, take your hook and I want you to stand it up to about a 60 degree. So get that thing pointing up in the air and make sure your thread's sitting back there. Um, you can use whatever you want. I'm going to use a piece of uh, mallard plank here. Um, I have some already ready for this, but I'm going to show you because when you do these, you're going to be able to get a lot of, you know, casings out of this. First thing I'm going to do, get up away from all those fuzzies and just strip that back. Once you get her stripped back, just give it a clip. Get rid of that. This is what you want to have that clean. Again, next thing you're going to do is pull these back. Pull them back. Now, you can get way up in here if you want. Um, pull them back even if you can. And once you get them pulled back to where you want them, I mean, you can really get into this wing if you want to, to where you don't have a whole lot of waste. But we're going to clip this off and do a nice, get you a nice clip there, too. All right, so now let's see what we want for our wing. Here's what you got to consider, okay? How big I want my wing, of course. How small do I want my wing? No. But, all right, so I'm going to pull that forward just like that. But the area I'm covering with this, I don't want it bigger. So if I push this V, if I hold my wing casing up like this and push this V back, am I going past my eye with any of the feathers? If I am, we want to remedy that and... We're just going to pull a couple more forward. Um, that's very important to where you do not want to crowd a bunch of feathers in this. Like that. You don't need to. Alright, once I get that to where I'm going to like this, hold your wing casing on top. This is real simple. And go around one time. And that's it. You can adjust your wing casing. See how this is going to pull on that a little bit. So I'm going to pull, go ahead and pull my wing casing forward, my wings forward a little bit. And then I'm going to grab my casing. And I'm going to hold it over there. And I'm going to go around one time. That's it. Give it a little tug to make sure that nothing's going to move. You can adjust your wing casing, your wings, everything now at this point. I mean, it's not going anywhere. Grab a hold of this tail and pull and pull to wherever you want that to be and i'm going to put mine just right there and then i'm going to take a couple wraps and work it towards the back work it to the back all right make sure your wraps are going to the back give it a good tight you know now grab these and pull them back and you can really pull on that part get you some wraps under there see how there now we're going to take and trim this out Voila. Now, as I was saying, if you really, really, really wanted to, you could use this wing for, I mean, I could get one out of that, two more, three, four more out of that one little wing. So, you know, one wing will do a lot of flies. Taking the uh, tangle your whip finisher up. <laughs> How do you like that? Uh, what not to do. That's why I like doing these videos. I can show you all what not to do. And we 
just gonna we're gonna show off put that on and our finished there you go that's it that's all there is to it that's how simple this is um put your wing in place one wrap bring your casing over one wrap adjust your wing that's why you gotta i mean keep that little stem right there um, so you can pull on that and you got a lot of control over it the best part if you go too far to you don't like it it's one wrap back to start over again it's not a big deal you know but this i like them it works great anyway all the materials under the bridgeflies.com check out my facebook page under the bridge flies and this video is on under the bridge flies videos you got a lot of things going on here anyway um, check out under the bridgeflies.com um, go to the gift certificate part um, give a little something to project healing waters they're going to get a great deal out of this they're getting all the materials at cost with no shipping to them um, help the uh, vets out you know so they can get to tie in um, my calabatus nymph and the way i do my wing casings i hope everybody likes it I hope you continue to watch my videos and see you next time. Thank you.